Once the product has cured, we're going to take the hand out of the light. We're going to remove the dispersion layer with swipe. And remember you guys, we're going to focus our attention on cutting in a brand new smile line. There's many bits that you could use. I'm going to use my X-Cut because my X-Cut is going to cut through the gel like butter. And what we want to be able to do is use an overgrip technique so that we don't slip. Now, the purpose is not to hold the hand like this. The purpose is to keep your client's palms flat so that you keep your palms flat as well. Notice my grip. I'm actually have my thumb on the side of her finger while I'm coming over the top. It actually prevents your clients from always wanting to look at their nails while you work. Now the cool thing is, is we now have a left-handed bit. And a left-handed bit is going to guarantee that all lefties out there are gonna know what it feels like to file right. What we're going to do, we don't have to work at mock speed. We want to be able to cut in a smile line. Remember, we are going to follow, right? We are going to follow this line right here, right? Right behind it. We brought it up to the existing smile line. So what we want to be able to do is cut behind. This is going to be a really good guide for you so that you could bring the smile line back. Okay. Again, righties, you're going to work in forward. Lefties, you're going to work in reverse. You don't want to work faster than, notice on my electric file, again, one, two, three, four. Even if I come down one speed, I'm still three levels on level one. So that is going to be a perfect speed for you to work so that the bit doesn't generate heat. Notice my palm is open. I'm going to cut one, two, three. Now notice from one, two, three, I have already met dead center. It doesn't have to be perfect. You guys remember, we are cutting with zone one of the barrel. We're not cutting with the edge, we're not cutting with zone two, we're cutting with zone one. And notice that the hand piece is below, below. When I come in from this point to this point, I'm not coming over like this, I'm not coming down like this, my palm actually closes towards the customer. So again, notice, open palm to close palm, and the bit follows on the same parallel line as the tip. So, I'm gonna start off, again, with my thumb underneath, right? And I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in one, two, and notice my palm closing all the way in. Perfect, one, two, three. Doesn't have to be perfect. Come back, touch it up, touch it up, all the way. And then I can use from front to back to actually take down the excess white that I actually had built up. All right. Once we've made our cut, this is the best part. It doesn't have to be perfect. What we're going to do is we're going to use our file and I'm actually going to come in and I'm going to touch up my smile line so that I have perfect shape from side to side. Now, this is the most important part. Take a look at the top. Look how perfect my smile line is. Now, this is the most important thing. Look down the barrel of the nail. You will notice the thickness from here to here is exactly the same. And the reason why we were able to get that is because we built that excess from here to here. Remember, you're gonna end up filing it back into shape anyways. You wanna make sure your corners are just as high as here so that when you file it into shape, you won't have shadows. Remember you guys, gel does not like to bond to a slick surface. And because I use carbide to come in and actually cut that out really fast, not only a perfect smile line, but it actually leave a smooth surface on the free edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rough it up before we actually get into application. I'm going to take my sanding band and all I'm going to do is create a nice rough surface for the gel to bond to. Okay. Once I'm done doing that, I'm actually going to take my swipe, I'm going to clean the surface. All right. I'm going to come in with protein bond. I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna apply protein bond 
not only to the free edge, but to the smile line to ensure maximum adhesion. After we have applied protein bond to the free edge, we're going to take a little bit of base, just enough to add a sticky layer so that the white sculpture bonds really well to the free edge. Again, just enough to get it sticky. All right, once we get it on, again, it's gonna go inside the light and you're going to work on the other hand. Once you're done applying it to the other hand, you're ready for the white sculpture application. You're gonna switch and go.